noun verb pairs. Today we're going to learn about noun verb pairs. Let's make sure we're really clear and have an understanding of what a noun and a verb are really all about. A noun is a person, place, thing, or an idea. A verb, on the other hand, is an action, an occurrence, or a state of being. Now, I want you guys to think about some English words that can be both a noun or a verb. So if I can have a volunteer to come up and write them on the board for us, I'd appreciate that. So go ahead, pause the movie, take a few minutes and think about, and write those down. I'll wait. Do you come up with a list? I did too. Our list might be different, but I want to show you some of my thoughts. Color, dance, die, fish, hand, mark, paint, play, race, rat, run, sign, text, wash, and work. In ASL, we have words that can be both a thing and an action at the same time. But that's not the same list of words that we have in English. Sometimes in ASL, the only difference between a noun and a verb is movement. Nouns are signed with a small, repeated movement. Verbs are signed with one big, solid movement. So, we're going to talk about the noun chair versus the verb to sit. So that noun, chair, we might have three chairs sitting next to each other. But when the verb, you're just going to sit once because you don't want to think about getting up and down. You just sit and then you stay there and then you're done. So three chairs versus just sitting down. They're different. The noun is a thing. That big solid movement shows it's a verb. That's the action. Have you ever gone skiing before? So, what do you do? First, you go to the store and you rent some skis. So, they get your skis all set up for you, you get your boots in, you lock them into the bindings, you get your poles in your hand, are you ready? But are you skiing yet? No, you're still in the store. Now we're just talking about the thing, the skis. But then you take the chairlift to the top of the mountain and you get up there and you're ready and then suddenly you go off the top and you're headed down the mountain. Now it's an action. You're trying to stay balanced. You're trying to move. You're trying to snowplow. Now you're skiing. It's a solid movement. So the thing, skis, versus skiing, the verb. Maybe think about a car. My nephew, he's so cute. A few years ago, we went to the stock show. And they had these big trucks on display, and so you could get in and climb in them. And my little nephew is so cute. He got there behind the wheel. He couldn't even see over the wheel, but he's trying to drive. He's three years old. Am I going to let him drive? No way. So he can get in the car and turn the wheel. That's fine. But is he going to, like, move down the road and go somewhere? Absolutely not. So we have that noun for car, and that's different than the verb to drive. So my nephew can turn the wheel, but he's not going down the road anywhere.
So, now we're going to talk about the noun, phone. The verb, the action, to call. So, I, I can call my mom. But there's no answer, so then mom called me back. So, call. So, lots of people calling me or one person calling me. The verb is an action. How about these? It's a pair of scissors. So, the noun is going to be a small repeated movement. But the verb, like if I take a piece of paper and actually want to cut the corner off, it's one solid movement. Cut. So, the last one for today Think about clothes. So, I have a lot of clothes, a whole closet full of them all lined up. But this morning, I just put this on and I came to school. I just put on this shirt and I went to work. So, I didn't change clothes a bunch of times, I just got dressed. So, clothes is a repeated movement because I have a lot of them. But to get dressed, I did it once and that's it. So now it's your turn to practice. In your textbook on page 274, you're going to do classroom exercise P. So you're going to work with a partner and practice some of these signs together. Good luck!